I walked into Metroflex Gym when I was seven, 16, 17 years old, and uh, I didn't know what to expect, man. I remember we pulled up in front of the parking lot. You could hear the music thumping in the, out in the parking lot. It was so loud. Brian is in there, Ronnie's in there, and uh, there was probably a dozen other bodybuilders in there that day the first time I pulled up, and I was like, wow, this is a gym. And uh, it was like anything, not, not like anything I'd ever seen before. And the amount of the energy and the atmosphere in there is like no other gym I've been to. I've been to some really good gyms. You know, I've been to Dorney's gym. I've been to, you know, Bet Francis' gym up on the East Coast. Really good gyms you can train hard at. But, man, nothing equals the intensity that, uh, you know, Metroflex has. It's that atmosphere, you know. And it's just, uh, it's unlike any gym in the world, man. It's, uh, it used to be a pretty rough place. Uh, it's calmed down a lot. But, uh, man, when I uh, first used to go there, you had all the bodybuilders from Dallas-Fort Worth that trained there, powerlifters. Um, all the strip clubs were in the area, so a lot of the strippers trained there. So uh, it was a bad combination, man. It's like fire and gasoline. They didn't mix too well. But, you know, as a young boy pulling up there, uh, I loved it, man. I'd pull up and there'd be girls in bikinis squatting in the parking lot. I was like, I love this place. So uh, it was a good place, you know, when you're 17, 18 years old. By the time I was 19, I had beat every bodybuilder in that gym except for Ronnie. And uh, I had beaten every other guy in the gym. There were some good bodybuilders in there, too. I won the uh, Mr. Texas when I was... Uh, 19 and the open Mr. Texas and uh, so uh, and along the way the other contests I've done um, I've beaten everybody in the gym at that point so I grew up in that gym uh, you know just from me from learning how to fight to learn how to train to learn how to be a man.